You may find yourself having to replace an inducer motor. Okay, these things fail from time to time. They get noisy and whatnot. So we'll need to change them. Okay, this particular one on a mid-efficiency furnace, we've got our power leads, our line voltage to the motor. Okay, and we've got some screws that we need to remove in order for us to get this motor out to replace it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna disconnect the motor from power. Okay. All right. okay. So again, I've gone ahead and removed uh, one, two, three, four screws that were holding the motor to the housing there. Okay, you can see that my pressure switch is still attached to the housing and the connection I need to get back to my C vent, my transition piece, I need to remove too, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Freeze up my motor, okay? All I need is, is this motor here. So let's go ahead and change the pressure switch. Take that out, the gasketing material. You'll typically get new gasketing material with a new Venter motor. So now that we've got the Venter motor out, we can go ahead and replace it with the new one, okay? Uh, for, the, for, for the most part, uh, there's a good chance that the new motor will come with the new gasket. Um, but if you don't have a gasket for the motor, what you could use is some high temperature silicone, okay? along the back, okay? Along with that high temperature silicone, we would also like to like for you to spray the back here with some cooking spray, okay? That will make, a, make for good contact up against the uh, high temperature silicone. And at the same time, as if you ever had to remove it, it will, that, that vendor motor will pop right off, uh, but at the same time, create a great seal, okay? So a little bit of cooking spray along the back, a little bit of high temperature silicone on the back of the venter motor. We're gonna put that venter motor back on. Again, notice I took the vent adapter off as well. We're gonna need that and attach that to the new venter motor as well. So let's go ahead and put everything back together. Now that we've gone ahead and replaced the motor, again, you want to make sure that it's operational. So again, we're going to put a call for heat on the furnace, and we're going to check the sequence of operations, listen to the motor. Obviously, it'll be, for the most part, it should not be making any noise, or not too much noise anyway. Again, once we've replaced it, again, just checking the operation of the, of the furnace itself, making sure everything is okay. Again, ensuring that your gaskets are in place, okay? And then, again, if you don't have a gasket, use that little trick with the uh, high temperature silicone and a little bit of cooking spray on the back there to, to create a good seal. And that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's, not that, uh, it's not that complicated. We're done.